Hi everyone. Today I am here with lesson number eight from class eleven, Silk Road. Silk Road is actually taken from Extremes Along the Silk Road, written by Nick Middleton. Nick Middleton is a geographer, and this lesson is about his journey towards Mount Kailash. And this lesson explains how. He travelled from Ravu to Darjeeling. Now, Nick Middleton was not alone. He had another person with him. His name was Daniel. He worked as his translator also, and his driver Sita. So, these were the three people who were travelling from Ravu to Darjeeling. And when they started from Ravu. a lady named lamo gave him a long sleeve coat which is usually worn by drokbas drokbas are the sh local shepherds of tibet and uh, he was going on a journey to complete kora here kora refers to the circumambulation revolution around mount kailash so it is a meditative practice in tibetan buddhist so it is a pilgrimage usually taken by hindus and buddhist around mount kailash so it is actually a path which is taken by pilgrims to complete one circle of mount kailash this is called kora so nick middleton is going on a journey and he is going to complete kora then he leaves he takes a shortcut off to changtang they start their journey they come across a vast plain and it has had a few gazelles later on as they keep on traveling the plain became stony and they saw herd of wild ass and these wild ass were rolling into mud and this dust was rising so they could see the dust kayang before they could see the, these wild asses then they moved on the path became hilly which gave way to rocky wilderness after that they could see some drokbas there tending their sheep and then later on they came across nomads tents and outside these tents they could see mastiff barking so these are large dogs of these tibetans which protect their sheep as well as their houses and uh, these dogs became popular in chinese court they were brought to china through the silk route from tibet after crossing this they finally entered a valley with wide river and they were traveling along with this wide river and there were sharp turns in their journey now the ride became bumpier and they started moving away from the icy river now since they were going high up the altitude the author felt a pressure building in his ear because of the high altitude so they were struggling now at one bend they had to get down and then they noticed snow on their way on the journey they faced many problems first they had to stop because there was a patch of snow and when he checked his watch it was 5210 meters above sea level so they got down since there was a patch of snow they could not travel through it they spread dust over it if they would not have done that the car would have skid and it would have turned over and then this driver seetan he was able to drive successfully over this patch of snow and they crossed this hurdle next problem came after 10 minutes there was another blockade this was at an altitude of 5400 meter above sea level now see tan he decided to give it a try and he started driving so he was able to cut off a hairpin bend and uh, they drove successfully but nick middleton felt that his head was throbbing he took some water this was all because of altitude and pressure created by it finally they were able to reach a in of rocks and this was at an altitude of 5515 meter and uh, there they could see there were flags and other things they reached the top of the pass seat and check tires he also checked the petrol tank the engine was making hissing sound but there was no smoke 
in the engine so they were able to stop at that point they again started moving to the other side of the pass and since they were going down he felt his headache was better than before so at 2 o'clock they stopped for lunch they ate noodles in a canvas tent and this was just near a salt lake and he could see that men were working they had their sunglasses on they were wearing boots and they had shovel and they were taking salt out of that lake so it was completely white at that time and he could see blue trucks also filled with salt coming out of that place from where he was sitting and eating then they again resumed their journey and they finally reached hor that's another village in late afternoon now this was a grim miserable small town and it was on the shore of mansarovar but there was no vegetation it was all rock and dust and nick middleton found a lot of refuse there now this place was on east west highway this was old trade route from lassa to kashmir so it was on a very important destination now daniel he bid them farewell and he went to lassa because he had to leave and he also got a lift from there but seetan he got two punctures removed and till that point nick was sitting in a small badly painted concrete building in order to have tea and he was served by a chinese young man and he had his tea he he found the place a little miserable so his experience of hor was totally different from what he has heard he has heard uh, one japanese uh, monk talking about this place hor his name was ikai kawaguchi he came in 1900 to this place and he was so thrilled that he started crying when he looked at this place and even there was another swedi sven heden he came to this place he also had a sentimental outburst but nick middleton didn't have the same experience he was not at all emotional it was just a normal place for him which he found to be little miserable and all rock and dust So finally after leaving from Hor they they reached Darchen at night 10:30 pm and when he reached there he found that Darchen is also a dusty derelict heap of rubble and refuse there were some journal stores selling cigarettes soap and flags and other things now when he reached there at 10:30 and they took uh, refuge in a guest house at that time he had troubled night he could not sleep because of cold and as soon as he would lay down he would be gasping for oxygen so whole night he could not lay down he was not able to sleep and next morning he felt a little better he found darchin to be a nice place he could see himalayas from there the main mountain range gurla madhate that was a snow cape mountain and he could see that Ethan took him to Darchin Medical College the next day because he was suffering from cold and he met a Tibetan doctor there the doctor did not have the paraphernalia of a doctor he didn't even look like a doctor he was wearing a normal Tibetan clothes when he told him about his symptoms the doctor told him that he has got cold due to altitude so he gave him 15 screws in it there were some pellets which looked like sheep dung to him but when he took them it, it it tasted like cinnamon and uh, miraculously because of taking those medicines he slept properly that night now seetan when he found nick mid better and he would be able to uh, take along that journey to kora he left for lassa nick middleton was alone in darchin and he found the town to be empty this was not the peak of pilgrim season otherwise the place would be flocking with pilgrims he has come early and there were hardly people there while sitting in one of uh, places he found that he had not made any progress on self help positive thinking that means he was not able to think properly in a positive way uh, he felt that he would not be able to do kora alone and at that time he met a man named norbu he had worked in beijing at chinese academy of social science and he was writing some academic paper on kora so he has also come to complete that kora now nick he found a partner in him 
and finally he was able to think positively so his strategy of helping himself with positive thinking was finally working and because of that he was happy that he has met someone who would help him complete his kora this person norbu he was enthusiastic about kora but he was also fat so they decided to hire yaks to carry their luggage and finally nick middleton he would be going on his journey to complete kora this uh, lesson is all about his, how he started from ravu what problems he faced then about this uh, small town hor and then finally reaching darchan and meeting people there so this lesson talks about his journey across this silk road now the name silk road has been given to this lesson because of nick middleton's uh, book which is extremes along the silk road first that second this lesson is also called silk road because silk road used to be a network of roads not one road but a network of roads which would take things from asia to china and they would carry all kind of things since the major commodity was silk these roads were called silk roads so this since a part of his journey is through one of these silk road this lesson has been named silk road his journey since it is very difficult one and it shows that you need determination and persistence in order to do something like that is opposite to something as soft as silk so it was a difficult journey to complete kora i hope you like the explanation please like share and comment and if you have not subscribed the channel please do so thank you so much for watching